Nearly 950 pages of documents were released by the New York judge, Loretta Presco. Joining us to discuss this is the US attorney, Deborah Blum. Deborah, good morning. Thank you for staying up for us. Yeah, thank you. Lots of anticipation for these papers to be released. Sort of overview for us. What have we learned? How damaging is it for those who've been named? You know, right now, I don't think we know enough to determine whether it's ultimately damaging. Everybody whose name is on the list is going to deny that they have any legal culpability. But that being said, under federal law, if you engage in sexual acts with someone under age, there's no statute of limitations. If you've raped someone or sexually assaulted someone, there's no statute of limitation. So it's possible that some of these individuals on the list might be criminally charged. I think it's really important, Deborah. Really delighted for you to, as, as Rosie says, stay up so late and, and be on talk today. Important to stress that the names on that list have not been accused criminally of any wrongdoing. What I'm interested in is, is obviously there's been a big build-up on this side of the pond about Prince Andrew and Virginia Dufre and, 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 and all the allegations that have made. Overnight, we hear about Epstein. Just for people waking up in the UK this morning, what other names are in this 950-page document? Well, as you touched upon, Bill Clinton's name is on it. There are a bunch of financiers, uh, you know, just all kinds of people. I actually haven't read through all of the names because it's pretty late here and the it just got released. But, Sorry. you know, these people are now going to have to do major damage control. Some of the people, there was actually a list that was leaked. And, for example, Jimmy Kimmel was on that list. And it turns out he's not in this federal court document. So there are people that were put on a list that are being falsely accused of being on the list and the people on the list are going to scramble and try to issue statements denying that they had any role in this. And, and presumably, you know, 950 pages, you've got teams of journalists going yeah. through those now to try and sort of dissect some of the details. Bill Clinton has been linked in the past uh, to Jeffrey Epstein. What, what do we actually know? Because there's been a lot of denials issued. So within these documents, there are deposition transcripts of the alleged victims. You know, I'm a defense attorney, so I'm always going to say alleged victims that give damaging testimony. And I believe there's probably damaging testimony against former President Clinton. And he's repeatedly denied any wrongdoing. As of right now, it doesn't seem like any of the documents point to any illegality by him. So he just, might be. Sure, I'm just going to say, actually, we've we've done a bit of we've done a bit of reading, and you're right. We're all pouring through this document. It's been accused of taking one accused. It's been noted that he took the flight uh, Epstein's a jet 37 times for philanthropy. Apparently, couple of names to throw out there. Uh, Stephen Hawking is mentioned in this. Michael Jackson is mentioned in this. Um, it's one of those situations and one of those stories that has garnered such traction, I guess, as I said, on this side of the pond because of Prince Andrew. And you're right, because, you know, you're, you're a defence attorney and I absolutely get what you're saying. Unfortunately, in the world we live in, innocent until proven guilty doesn't always work out and there is guilt by association via the media. I suspect that will be a concern for these people. Absolutely. Somebody that took the flight and went to his Lolita Island, or sorry, the, the plane was called Lolita, uh, the jet that took people to his island, you had to know something was going on. So there you do have guilt by association. If somebody went one time, they might not have had any clue as to what was going on. But somebody like President Clinton, I believe that there's been speculation that he did receive maybe a massage from one of the underage girls or just, I, I think that there's going to be people combing through this. It's potential that the U.S. government is continuing their investigation. The whole thing, you know, just ended rather in a strange way. Jeffrey Epstein supposedly committed suicide. I spent a lot of time doing legal commentary on that, and I actually don't think that it's 100% that he committed suicide. And then we have just slain Maxwell and she took a plea and we have Prince Andrew who let his civil case go on for too long. So there's lots more evidence that we're, we're not seeing that could factor into the prosecution of any of these individuals and certainly a civil case where the victims are going to go after these individuals on the list and try to seek compensation. You know, and I, I just want to say, in, in, in America, 
we have an issue with where we've opened up the period of time where somebody could go after who they accuse of sexual assault. And when a case has happened so many years ago, it's hard to defend somebody because the records that you need aren't available. Yeah. So, you know, with all of this, it's difficult to have a defense. In this day and age, everybody's talking about it. So it's very hard to be in a position of being on the list, especially if you're innocent. Because mm. like you said, it's innocent until proven other, you know, guilty until proven innocent. Absolutely right. Just to point out for people waking up, so uh, Prince Andrew on that list, Deborah, uh, we've said uh, Bill Clinton. I can uh, tell you Stephen Hawkins in there, Michael Jackson. Donald Trump named, uh, but absolutely no culpability. But a really interesting thing that's come out is that apparently whenever Lolita the Jet wanted to land, they'd phone the White House and Donald Trump would just arrange that. So one doesn't know amongst these 950 pages. David Copperfield, I'm just told as well in my ear. 950 pages. Names will come out. More and more will become obvious as journalists pour over this. But this is a story, Deborah, just to sum up, that is not going to go away, is it? So we actually thought in the U.S. with all of the ongoing events that this was something that was going to go away. And I was surprised by that because with Epstein's death, the case just seemed to come to a close. And then with Ghislaine Maxwell's prosecution, she took a plea deal. So there was a lot more left to uncover. And it seems like the judge is signaling that that's what we're doing. I know that members of Congress also had given testimony or made requests for an ongoing investigation into what occurred when all of these individuals were going to Epstein's private island. Because mm -hmm. as we see, there are so many influential people, so many people in positions of power. And if you keep going over and over again, it's hard to argue that you didn't know what was going on. Absolutely. Well, we're going to see those arguments play out. Deborah, thank you so much thank for sort you. of assessing uh, what we've already learned. And as Jeremy sort of laid out, uh, this story is going to develop across the day, I'm sure. And then as people try to sort of put forward their defences or mm. their denials or their statements, um, the story will bubble on. Deborah, thank you.